truck is, is powered by three Westinghouse jet engines. Uh, each one of these engines were developed to use in a, in a Navy fighter. Uh, each one of these engines develops about 6,300 pounds of static thrust and about 12,000 horsepower to speed of sound. In theory, and only theory of course, because the truck couldn't take it or this old driver couldn't handle it, but this truck has enough power to run over 2,000 miles an hour. Everybody always asks me what it feels like to sit in this truck at the starting line and what you think about. I really don't know how to answer that because I don't know how to compare it to anything else I've ever done. I know the feeling going down a racetrack must be something like uh, the clown experiences when he gets shot out of a cannon there at the circus. The only difference is as soon as he leaves the barrel of the cannon, he slows down and we keep right on accelerating. And as far as what it feels like going down there uh, or what it looks like, I don't know because I'm so scared I keep my eyes shut. The truck took nine and a half months to build. It cost $250,000 to build it. It's a stock 1984 Peterbilt cab, and the front end is special made from fiberglass. Uh, so is the, uh, the sleeper that's on it. The chassis is made from uh, about $8,000 worth of uh, 4130 chromoly tubing. This thing is almost like a space shuttle. It has so many uh, different redundant features as far as uh, the safety things, you know, it's got two or three different ways to shut off the engines and two different parachute setups and just a multitude of different safety things built into it. This truck, because of the power and the, and the engines and everything in it, it creates a lot more noise than everything inside the cab. It's like an echo chamber in there. Uh, it's actually probably the most exciting part of this whole act is when you're up there at the starting line and before you leave, because of the mass of the vehicle, it doesn't run as fast as a lot of the cars that I've driven over the years. So it's not quite as exciting to me going down the track because it does handle so well. Uh, I like a car that doesn't handle that good, something you have to kind of fight, you know, way down a racetrack. Your mind's probably going uh, 200 miles an hour and your heart's going 300 miles an hour. The adrenaline's going to be 500 miles an hour. You're pretty hyped up. I still am.